Okay, I've got a simple algebra question here where we're asked to simplify this, or sometimes it says expand the brackets. So basically, first of all, we have to realize that if we have two numbers inside a bracket that are squared, this does not equal a squared minus b squared. Okay, that's the first most important thing. This will equal, if we have a minus b all squared, like this, this will equal a minus b, a minus b. So this is not correct. This is what you need to do. So, knowing this, we're going to write this down. So, we'll start with, we've got 5 x minus 5 square root 7. Then we have 5x minus 5 square root 7. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the FOIL method to multiply these brackets out. So just bear with me. So And what this means, stands for, is we've got first outside, inside, last. And so what that means, it just this just is a nice uh, way of remembering how you're going to the order in which you multiply these things together. So we do the first two numbers, then we do the outside two numbers, then we do the inside two numbers, and then we do the last two numbers. So, 5x times 5x, the first is 25x squared. We have negative 5 root 7, times 5x, which is going to be negative 25 square root 7x. Inside we've got negative 5 root 7 times 5x, so it's going to be another negative 25 square root 7x. And last we have negative 5 root 7 times negative 5 root 7, so we're going to have a plus. 5 times 5 is 25. And square root 7 times square root 7 is 7. So, basically what we're going to do now is we're just going to combine our like terms, i.e. the middle two, and we're going to compute that little multiplication there. So, we're going to put these two together. And we have 25x squared minus 50 square root 7x. And then 25 times 7, well, we know 25 times 6 is 150, so it's going to be 175. And so the simplification or the expansion, so this could be simpler, simplify, they could also write, So, you know, those are two ways they can ask you this question. And there is your final solution.